Hey everyone, welcome back to Blau Dev. Today we're going to be going over how to make a bottom menu tab bar. Um, so the idea that I have for this app, you know, we've already gone through sign up and log in and how to do that. And I'm actually going to log this in just so you guys can see up to what point we're at. Um, currently though, it goes nowhere. So what I want to be able to do today is be able to set up a bottom navigation bar. Um, it'll basically act as the menu for the app. And what I want this app to eventually do, as seen with this uh, storyboard here, is we're gonna have three tabs. We're gonna have a video screen, an article screen, and a profile screen. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have uh, a list view um, displaying uh, all the videos found in the Flutter uh, playlist on YouTube. And then there's going to be details to that and you can watch it within the app. On the article screen, you're going to be able to see all of the corresponding articles found on Medium. And on the profile screen, you're going to be able to adjust the preferences for what kind of tags and videos you want to display in your feed. And so, it's very simple. This isn't really meant for anybody to use. This is more just to practice and for myself to um, utilize. And if you guys find it of use, I'll make it public anyways, just because we this is Flutter start to finish. And so we are gonna go from ground zero all the way to publishing. And so you will be able to download it and utilize it if you'd like to, but this is more just for demonstration purposes. So let's go ahead and dive into it. So currently my home screen does nothing. Um, and what this is actually gonna be is we're gonna make this uh, purely the bottom navigation bar and it will render in the upper portion three other screens. So based on what button you press, it'll render one of the other um, classes. And so I've already made those three classes. We have our article screen class, our profile screen class, and our video screen class. Um, currently these have nothing, and today we're not gonna focus on that. Again, the focus is purely on that bottom navigation bar. Should be pretty short, pretty straightforward. And then in following videos, we'll dive into Firestore and building out those screens and functionality of rendering videos within your app. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we're going to get rid of this body text. And in place of that, we're actually going to have a default tab controller. Okay. And the default tab controller is going to have a length of three. So what you're going to want to do is however many tabs you want to have at the bottom, you need to specify the length under that. And then for the child, it's going to have a stack widget. And if you're unfamiliar with a stack widget, it takes in uh, children. So it takes in um, several children widgets similar to a column or a row. And what we're gonna have here is we're going to have uh, a container and we're gonna say that the height of this container is going to be, uh, let's do double infinity width will be double infinity. Okay. And then we're going to have our scaffold widget. And the scaffold widget's important because this is what's going to contain the um, tab bar on the bottom and it's going to contain the upper portion as well. Um, Okay, let's get going with this. So the scaffold, it's going to take in a bottom navigation bar. Um, and that is going to be of type, uh, we're going to do padding. We're going to give it a padding of edge insets dot only. And we're going to say bottom 15. And then for the child, we're going to have a tab bar. And the tab bar contains uh, tabs. And we're gonna have three tabs. So I'm gonna go with tab one, tab two, tab three. Okay. And I'll come back to those. We're gonna have a label color. Um, we don't really care much about this right now. So we'll say colors.red, um, indicator. Again, I don't really care too much about this right now, but 
let me just type this out really quick and I'll explain what this does. So what this is going to do is basically whichever tab is selected, the label color and the indicator for that tab is going to have these, um, these decorations on them. So the coloring red. It's basically going to show which one's selected, which one's not. Um, so for the underlying tab indicator, we're going to have a border side of border side. And that's going to have a color of colors.red. We want it to match. And we're also going to give it a width of 4.0. And then we're going to have the insets. And we're going to say edge insets dot only bottom 44. This is just some styling here. And then we're going to have an unselected label color. And that's going to be colors dot gray with an EY. Okay. And it's angry because we've specified tabs, but the tabs don't have any content. And so we're going to, well, let's just take care of that right now. So we're going to place an icon of icons dot, let's see, this is a video. Okay, that looks pretty good. There's a video library. This one is also okay. For now, I'm going to go with the video library. Um, Oh, that's my bad. This needs to be within, yeah, there we go. It needs to be within an icon widget. That's what was missing. Um, I'm just going to copy and paste this into the other two. Okay. And there's our tab bar. Really clean. Now, currently this does nothing though. Um, obviously nothing renders up here. And I need to change these icons. And I might change the coloring as well. Maybe I'll keep it red. Um, so for this one, this is going to be article, paper maybe, no, page, file, I don't know, we're going to go with that one for now, and then this one is profile, I think, account, yeah, account circle, okay, that's a little bit better, it's a little bit more on theme with what we're going for, um, okay. Now that we have our tab bar, this was our bottom navigation bar, we now want to do a body. So this is the end of that padding. So here we want to have our body. And this is going to be tab bar view. And tab bar view has children. And what's going to happen here is the order of the children that we put in this tab bar view are going to correspond with the children found in the tabs. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say, let's see, the first one I want to do is video screen. And I need to import that. Okay. And it's getting angry because I've said that there's three different pages that we're dealing with, three different tabs, but I've only given it one. So I need to complete and put in the other ones. So I video screen, that's done. Article screen is next. Article. I do not remember what I called that one. Let's see. Article screen. Okay. I need to import it. Profile screen. And again, I need to import it. Boom, there we go. So you can see up here in the very top left, you see video screen, article screen, profile screen. And the only last thing that I'm gonna do is a little bit more styling. Instead of just this red, I'm actually gonna go to my login screen and pull that background color, that, uh, that blile dev purple color that I always use. Okay and go to menu and in place of colors.red I'm going to put that color. And you can mess around with the styling of this if you'd like. Um, this is just a very basic default tap controller. Um, you can make a fancy menu or maybe I've seen people make some really cool menus where you push a floating action button and up pops your menu around it. 
Um, there's a lot of really cool ways that you can incorporate menus. Uh, you can do menu bars at the top. This is just a very simple bottom tab controller that you can utilize to show and display different screens. Um, and you'll see here, it also, you can swipe as well. Um, that's another aspect to it that you can do. Um, and when you transition from one to another, you'll actually see it's almost as if it's one continuous screen, right? Um, it'll slide and swipe over any screens in between. And so if that's something you do not like, then this may not be the best option for what you're looking for. But if you're just looking for that basic clean functionality, Flutter has this built-in bottom tab controller that you can utilize. Again, I'll post this code on Bitbucket. Um, it should be under a public repo for you guys. And you can check out the commit history if you want to see where the project was at at this specific point in time. By the time you guys might be checking it out, we might have done more work on this project. But, you know, that's a wrap for today. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. If you like this video or found it useful, hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time.